Okay, hopefully this is gonna work and cooperate with me this time. Welcome, welcome. Sarah Mueller here with Decluttering Club and Early Bird Mom, and I would love to share um, some tips with you today and a little tour of my home. So we have been pretty well decluttered. You know, we don't have a lot of stuff around and I really felt that we had kind of pared down to what I felt was, you know, just the things that we use, the things that we need, um, and we didn't have a lot of extra stuff. Well, let me tell you, when you start to think about selling your home, it just unlocks a whole nother level of decluttering for you, for me anyways. And the other thing it does is it just really creates motivation where, uh, whereas before you might've been like, well, it's not really that important to me to go through that closet or through that bookshelf. Well, now let me tell you, I have major motivation because I do not want to move and pack stuff that, um, that I really don't want. So, um, it was amazing. What a fire it's, it's been lighting under me to get ready to sell our home. So I thought I would just kind of walk you through and tell you about some of the things, some of the changes that we made and some of the things we've been doing, um, and just give you a, a peek into how it has uh, been shaping up. And I'm really excited because, um, like I said, I didn't feel like I had a lot of extra stuff, but the changes that we've made, um, some of them are small changes, some of them are big ones, and um, it has been really fun for me. And I'm really loving, loving the results. And um, so let me uh, see if I can flip the camera around here. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna, attempt to walk you guys through here. So this is my office here. This is the room that um, you see when you first come into the door. So it's over here and this room is actually, and it's not super like super tidy at the moment. You can see I've got a big light there in the back, but, but um, I love this space and I think it looks so amazing, especially when things are a little bit tidier. It's just, it's like the picture perfect idea of what I think of when I think, you know, just amazing minimal office, right? Just a desk, uh, open desk, lots of room. We got this fun little uh, shag rug going on here. And then we have these awesome built-ins back there and a little seating area and um, just tons and tons of open space. You can see here we've got, you know, I'm backing up here. We've got so much open floor space really in the whole house and it just really gives an awesome feeling of spaciousness to to our home and I think this is going to be really attractive to whoever decides to uh, to buy the home and live in here okay so now I'm going through to our family room and you can see in the back there we have this awesome little sunroom sitting area um, that is just super cozy I love to sit there in the morning but um let me show you this here this is our family room and it's a kind of a, an awkwardly shaped room. I am backing up here. Um, and it's super long and it's got like, how many doors it's got? One door there, it's got a door over there, and it's got a doorway over here, and then this is the opening here into the kitchen. So it was really hard for us to, um, to place the, I'm gonna flip back around and talk to you guys. There we go. Um, it was pretty difficult for us to place the furniture in this room just because there were so many doorways and there was not a lot of wall space and it's kind of a long room, right? And so there's only one place to put the TV. So we, we'd we always sort of been like, well, it's kind of weird, right? Um, and we had the couch set up along the half wall here. Oh, let me flip around again. Um, so we have this half wall here. We had the couch kind of pushed way back there. But um, after talking to my friend Angie, who is um, who is an amazing, well, I'm not sure if she's te technically a designer, but she has this amazing eye for design. She said, push the sectional forward and anchor everything with the area rug. So you can see we have the rug there now, obligatory Nerf guns. And um, we just pulled everything forward. And um, now, it all looks like it belongs and it just works so well and I just love it right like it just it just works so much better for this room here uh, and the other thing we did was we had two extra pieces of furniture in this room um, and and we didn't feel like it was it felt crowded at the you know when we had the extra furniture in there we had a love seat 
and another chair and they were kind of one was in that corner over there and the other one was over there but um angie said you know you really need to remove the extra furniture from this room because it's making it feel crowded and i thought well okay i'm not sure if we're gonna how's it gonna work out when we are um when everybody is sitting in here you know, hanging out watching tv but we'll give it a try and you guys it has been so amazing because um, just removing that extra furniture made such a difference and just how spacious this room feels now and just how much more inviting and welcoming and it just all works. So um, my tip for you there, whether or not you're planning to sell your home, is that, um, you know, don't be afraid to have empty spaces, right? Like this, this kind of felt like a weird space to me earlier you know, before when we were planning to take out the love seat, I thought, well, it's just going to be big and open, but it doesn't feel that way at all now. And um, the seating has not been a problem. We can pull up a chair or two if we need to. We have a couple of pretty portable armchairs. So um, that has worked out really, really well for us. And I have not missed those extra pieces of furniture at all in here. And now the room just works really, really well. And then um, over here is our kitchen, which I adore. And you guys have probably seen it before um, in my videos, but uh, we didn't really have to do anything to the kitchen, but um, one of the things that works really well for me in here, and I think it's going to show really well when we put the house on the market, is just how big and open everything is, right? We don't have anything on the counter, uh, you know, just got one more bowl of fruit on the kitchen table, and um, it's just super open and spacious, and we have our new fridge back over in that corner, so it just, it just is really inviting and really open, and um, there's, there's no clutter, you know, except for a few things that need to get put away. <laughs> there's very little that needs to, uh, you know, that kind of um, interrupts your eye and um, kind of creates a feeling of, of closeness or anx anxiousness. So um, I think this is gonna work really well. I think it's gonna photograph well when we put the house on the market, and, um, you know, it's really easy to keep clean when there's not a lot of stuff. Obviously, kids come home from school, you know, backpacks are everywhere, lunch boxes, or if we're cooking, um, certainly it's going to get uh, busy and messy and stuff like that, but that's okay. You know, that's, that's just real life. And um, at the end of the day, it's, it's not too big of a deal to clean up. So um, that's the kitchen. And um, those are the areas that I wanted to show you and just really encourage you if uh, whether or not you're planning to sell your home anytime soon, um, don't be afraid to, to really cut back and to kind of push yourself a little bit, push the limits. Um, think, you know, do I really, really want to move this or am I, am I just keeping this either, you know, because I'm kind of afraid that I might need it or I'm being a little bit lazy, you know, it's too much effort to get rid of it you might find that you're so, so happy when you do and um, you really don't miss it and it really wasn't as bad of a, you know, of an effort as you, as you thought it was to get rid of. And um, I don't know, for me, I'm just finding that the less stuff we have around, even stuff like behind closed doors and even furniture, as I mentioned, um, it's really making a difference in just my level of, um, you know, relaxation, being able to relax and um, unwind and just keep things put together. It really, really makes a huge difference. So I encourage you, if you're thinking of decluttering, um, you know, whether or not you're going to sell your house, if you just kind of push yourself and try to get rid of a little bit more and a little bit more, uh, you might find that the results are fantastic and you love them okay I want to tell you guys we are going to have a special guest my friend Angie is going to be joining me on Friday right here on the page and we are going to talk cozy minimalism and Angie has um, kind of come up with this idea of cozy minimalism that, that she talks about in her work and um, you know so I guess I'm tending towards minimalism I'm not quite there yet but she has got a down pat and she's got some really great ideas about how you can make your home cozy, decluttered and minimalist without feeling like, you know, empty and plain and things like that. So she's got this fantastic um, way to match that up. So we're going to be talking to her on Friday and I will be posting details of that class 
um, on the page really soon. So I hope you can join me for that. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little tour around my home. All right, I will see you all later.